Hey guys, this is my project on population growth and its effect on the environment. Let's start with this. What is population growth? Population growth is when the amount of people being born is more than the amount of people dying. For example, this is a simple population growth chart. As you can see, when it starts out, the birth rate is double the death rate. Now, at first, this doesn't make that big of a difference. But as it happens every week, the population grows more and more. Here's where it gets bad. The growth that I showed you in the hypothetical Ford City is the same thing that's happening around the world. This is terrible for the environment. In fact, experts estimate that by 2020, the world will have a population of more than 8.6 billion people. It's growing by about 3% every year. This must make you wonder, how is population growth bad for the environment? I mean, weren't all the struggles of early humanity just so that the human race could succeed? It turns out the growth of humanity might actually be the death of humanity. Here's why. Well, let's think about it. What are some of the things that you use every day? A TV? A microwave? Warm water? All of these require electricity and need greenhouse gases too. This contributes to global warming. Think about it. The more people there are in this world, the more people need to use things that require electricity. This means we're using greenhouse gases rapidly. And as long as the population is growing, we're going to keep using them faster and faster. That means we're going to keep harming the ozone faster and faster as well. While more and more people use things that require greenhouse gases and electricity, more and more people also need a roof over their head. So the population growing also contributes to deforestation because we need to chop down trees for more houses. But did you know our own breath is a greenhouse gas? We breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas and trees are the only thing that help with that. Trees breathe in carbon dioxide and out oxygen. So when we chop down trees for houses because of the more people there are in this world, we're hurting the environment in another way. So while we're hurting the environment and using up energy sources that we'll run out of someday, almost as much as the Arkansas Razorbacks are using up coaches that actually want to coach for them, we still can't find a way to make renewable energy efficient enough to use full time. But here's some good news for a change. The more people there are in this world, the more brilliant minds will work on solving the problems that we have. Like by creating solar powered cars, making renewable energy more efficient, or even healing the ozone. So there is still hope for the future. Thank you for listening to my presentation.